Yo, what's going on people? Kingdom of Boxing. So Eddie Hearn is talking like nobody cares about the Shakur Stevenson versus Oscar Rivas, Oscar Valdez fight. And everybody cares about the Katie Taylor versus, I don't even remember her name, fucking Estrada, what's her name? Estrada, fucking whatever her name is. Everybody cares about that fight. Now, I've been wanting to say, I've been saying this shit for a long time, man. Like, forever. Like, in my opinion, and in my humble opinion, I don't even know. I don't even say my humble opinion, it actually, because I feel like this is majority of the people's opinion. And it has been for hundreds of years. But only recently have we had to deal with women's boxing. And we've had women's boxing literally shoved down our throats. It's been shoved down our throats, man. End of the day, like me personally, I don't fuck with women's boxing, like. Women's boxing, there's no place for women's boxing. Yes. No. I don't like women's boxing. I don't watch women's boxing. Why would anybody watch women's boxing? Like, the only thing that's decent about women's boxing is the weigh-ins. And that's if the girl's half decent. And if you really want to see a bit of titties and arse and boxing in the place for you go fucking check out Pornhub fam it's plenty more right so as far as boxing in the ring fighting these women it's it's trash sorry to say but it's absolute garbage like none of these women can actually fucking bang the so called best in the division are just like worse than like the 15 year old kids that fight in men's men's um, everyday gyms on a level like why would i like want to watch 15 year old kids with hardly any fucking power even like throwing punches at each other when i can be watching fully grown men fully grown professional athletes in their primes throwing real bangs and real shots and shit that i can like look up look up to and say yeah wow i wish i was that fast i wish i could throw punches like that or combinations like that i wish i could have got out of the punch got out of the way the punches like that do you know what i'm saying but when these women's boxing it's absolute garbage fam like might call me old-fashioned all you want fam i'm not old you get me but <laughs> end of the day like i'm a boxing fan <laughs> like women's boxing is terrible it's like it's like watching Paul and Ma Paulie Malinagi versus Paulie Malinagi. But both Paulie Malinagis have got 99 less power than Paul and Nagy had in his professional career, if you know what I'm saying. As we know, Paulie Malinagi couldn't bang for shit. Couldn't knock out a, a cat, right? <laughs> the guy couldn't knock out nothing. And these women are even worse than that. And they like at least Paulie had some nice technique and good counters and great footwork and slipping, moving, and he would throw nice combinations and shit. These women are like the so-called best. Have you ever watched the Katie Taylor fight? Oh my god, that is absolute trash. It's just like running in, da, 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 throwing one two one two one two one two, <laughs> just running in here all in the face, here all over the place, and like also like do you know when these fucking men. They say, oh yeah, they look fit in the weigh-ins there. Yeah, some of them look all right in the weigh-in, okay? Some of them do. What's her name? Ebony Bridges, she's been hitting headlines with the weigh-ins. There's a few others as well that I've enjoyed, but... <laughs> Have you seen the same girls? When she, when they're in the weigh-ins, look good. But when they're in the ring, they look like shit. They've got like some fucking massive shorts on. Like, you can't see no shape to them. Just like some massive shorts on with like some boxing gloves and then the hair like tied back in a cane rose like what the fuck look like some noddy head a massive head and throwing these weird punches and the hair just bouncing around and it's just like fuck you know me <laughs> i cannot watch women's boxing like and these people have been shoving it down our throats for how many years constantly constantly give me this that this that this that bro why do we want to watch women's boxing? Uh, apparently, I've also what's ha been happening is all the promoters and like all not maybe promoters, but all the main like what they called, um, do you know, like Sky Sports and Fox, what's it called, like TV stations, like whatever you call them. They've all been 
um, pushing that on every card that they um, show there has to be at least like one woman's fight on there on every card now so this woman's boxing is just literally getting forced down people's necks a lot of people are like oh no support it this that like oh you're sexist or this i don't know some shit if you don't rate women's boxing if you don't fuck with women's boxing anymore like why are you man really do you man really fuck with women's boxing be honest think about the fucking fights a lot about fancying somebody yeah, fancy them all you want. In the ring, do you, fancy, do you fancy them when they're in the ring, though? When they're fighting? Because I know for a fact that shit is not sexy. That shit is not sexy. Them big ass shorts and them big ass gloves throwing some fucking handbags around, man. What the fuck is going on? 2022 is just a mess. A lot of fucking boxing channels out there sort of jumping on the bandwagon. They're probably catching a lot of views from it as well because this is the in thing. This is what the What they're what the machine is promoting this was their this is one of their agendas start pushing this female boxing in do you know what i'm saying some equal rights and equality and all this and that like <laughs> if you want equality i dare to stick like some woman champion in the ring with like some male champion and see what happens <laughs> do you know what i'm saying and do you know what you could stick like a heavyweight female champion with a lightweight <laughs> male champion i'll break your knocker out it's just not it's not equal it's like i'm watching the fucking fights fam i've gave katie taylor a look i've seen a few of her fights i gave um ebony bridges i've seen a couple last couple of fights um who else did i watch that that girl that's fighting the katie taylor next i've seen her also the savannah marshall apparently she can bang she's got a couple of knockouts also Clarissa shields she's okay there's a few names coming out do you know what i'm saying but really and truly what is this what like what are we watching for there's that i know 50 year old kids in the gym that f have better fights better sparring sessions than these professional women no offense women are women men are men it's just what it is these women cannot fucking throw punches for shit they've not got power they've not got speed they've not got technique they've not got and even if they do have some rhythm and all this and movement, they just don't look right. A woman, you know, they're moving the head round and trying to duck punches and looking all fucking like Mayweather. It's like, what the fuck is going on? What happened to the nice, beautiful women, fam? Do you know what I'm saying? Where womenly women, do you know what I mean? Where, <laughs> you know, women, they're very, very underestimated in the world. They've always run the world behind the scenes men don't run the world fam people think men run the world no do you know how i know who runs the world the person that's supposed to run the world the man that's the well-known man men that's run the world whoever they are their wives are the ones that run the world right because just think about it in your relationships Women are a lot smarter than men. Your wife, your woman knows what to do to trigger you. She knows what to say, what not to say around you. She knows she knows you better than you know yourself. Especially when you've been, been with her for a while, right? So, when these men, they'll be there running the world, making decisions, this, that, that. They go home every night to the wife and they discuss business. She'll ask him, so what's been going on with this so what's been going on with that so what about this so what about that and then from there she maybe indirectly or directly will advise him certain things do this or should do that or don't mess with them or leave don't call them or why is he like that why is he act like that you shouldn't mess with him or don't give him no money or don't give them some money or let's go visit them or let's not go visit all the decisions behind the scenes are made not by the men or by the women at home time, bedtime. Just like when me and my missus were at home. A lot of the things that I will do through the day, I will plan with her first and ask her and get her advice on it. And she'll tell me, right, now go to go there today or go sort that out today or leave that for tomorrow or whatever. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, nine times out of ten, I listen. And it works out for the better for me. Do you know what I mean? Behind every great man, you need a great woman. 
So I'm not disrespecting women. Women run the world secretly, right? <coughs> I'm talking about fucking boxing. It's not it. It's not it. And you boxing channels stop forcing this shit down our throat. Eddie Hearn, <laughs> nobody in my book, no fucking real boxing fan that enjoys watching actual boxing would rather watch Katie Taylor versus, see I don't remember her name, versus Shakur Stevenson versus Os Oscar Rivas. Is it Oscar Valdez? I always get Oscar Rivas and Valdez mixed up, sorry. Oscar Valdez. Eddie Hearn thinks right, people rather watch that women's fight over Oscar Valdez and Shakur Stevenson. Are you crazy? Shakur Stevenson versus Oscar Valdez is a fucking unification, lightweight two elite fighters undefeated against Katie Taylor some fucking slap box fucking machine you couldn't probably even hit the f oh my god I don't even people jump off this bandwagon of this women's boxing if you really and truly don't fuck with it don't jump on the bandwagon for the sake of it be real talk your fucking shit I don't care if somebody comes shuts down my channel because I said, you know what, fuck women's boxing. It's not it. Women don't belong in the boxing ring. Go look pretty. Go do some modelling. Go do some Instagram stuff. Go do some... Start becoming chefs. Start like doing some fashion design and selling perfume or I don't know. Do you know what I mean? You can make it... You can do other stuff. Like boxing? Really? Boxing is a weird sport. It's a very weird sport. But it's a great sport. And do you know what? It's not a weird sport. It's just the days we're living in are weird times. Because if you go back in the day, nobody give a f nobody <laughs> entertained women's boxing. Women's boxing. Like even after 50, 60 years there's been women's boxing look at the progress they've made they're still horrible they still can't box they can't throw a decent jab that is no power there's no speed there's hardly any skills it's just straight in back, 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 back two fucking people just throwing punches at each other running around here and there just hair slapping around and just hearing bubbles bubbles bouncing about and they're just all like the women, do you know what I mean? So how they're built, they're just built frail compared to men, do you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, why would I want to watch this? It's like watching like white collar men's boxing. I'd rather go and watch, go to, I can just go to an event in Manchester or up here in Nottingham or um, Sheffield and go to these white collar events every night and watch better fights than these women's fucking boxing. Get off it. Stop it. Stop it, people. What's great about women's boxing? Tell me. Or oh, you fucking idiots. Or oh, you bitches. Or oh, you man that sport these women's boxing. I don't rate it. Like, even that. What's his fucking name? R is it Ring IQ? Ring IQ. He, like, for the first, like, six minutes, he always, like, talks about some females boxing. Like, it's some big thing in that. <laughs> like, they'd be... <laughs> and she'd be like this champion like I've, the women's boxing right there's this I'm pretty sure he said there's a woman champion she's like she's got like nine, 11 fights or 9 fights and she's a world champion she's got she's 9 and 0 she's a world champion and she's got one knockout right and I was like <laughs> this what I'm fucking dealing with fuck me I swear down I was knocking out more people last weekend than that Fuck you know. And it's just pathetic shit like that all around the sport. Stop forcing this for women's boxing down their throat, please. Women, go do some better shit, man. Way more better ways to make money than getting punched in your face and looking like an idiot in the fucking some big ass boxing shorts running around the ring. Right? A lot more easier ways, beautiful ways to make money. Go out there and get your money, man. You be a queen. Kingdom of boxing, I'm gone, people. Let me know in the comment section what you think about women's boxing compared to men's boxing. I'm out. Yo.